Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Hecarim Jungle with the best build and runes possible. The enemies just invaded us, so we're getting down an awkward ward. It's not likely for them to actually start on our buff because you clear the enemy jungle camps 20% than your own here in Season 13. So it's more common to invade for a kill rather than to start. Hecarim, you pretty much always want to start on your blue buff regardless of which side because you'll run out of mana otherwise. You don't need a potion because he has so much healing and tankiness from his W. The key is to constantly keep your Q stacked. Right now in Hecarim, on your first back, you literally want to rush tier so you don't run out of mana. Then you go straight for Spear of Shoujin. Spear of Shoujin is literally his highest win rate item rush on his two highest win rate and pick rate builds right now. Really broken. After Shoujin, you want to go for a Mana Moon into Eclipse or into Dusk Blade, just depending on what you think will be better. Here, I think Eclipse will be better because I need a little bit of tankiness and healing because I'm the only front line for my team. If my team had a proper front line, we could push more for Dustblade and try to one-shot their squishies. Which Eclipse is arguably just as good at. I'm going to pull this out a bit. Smite it down. Very nice. Pop it with a Q. Got our W on. W gives you extra armor magic resist when it's active. It also gives you a bunch of healing based off of how much damage you're putting out. Obviously, don't waste your autos on the small ones. Only auto the big one. Your Q doesn't cancel your autos on Hecarim, which is kind of nasty. We'll go ahead and go double points in the Q here. If you think you're going to get invaded, or if you don't have a camp to go to, then get your E instead. Hecarim pretty much always full clears though, which is why typically double points in Q is best. If you're not comfortable pulling camps as much as I'm doing, then get E level 3. It'll serve you much better. Because what we're trying to do is stop our Q stacks from falling off. With every Q stack, you... Q goes on a much lower cooldown and increases the damage a bit. That's why double points in Q is so good because you're easy long cooldown. It doesn't really do that much damage early on here. Notice how we didn't take the potion. <laughs> Go ahead and smite it while we have W on to maximize our healing. So with a one man leash, we just did a three minute 10 full clear. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy indeed. Samira's behind. I think we can do this 2v2. I'll go grab the Scuttle Crab first. It's spawning in. I can get my Q stacks up into the gank. Rengar's top side. Notice how I don't ping Akshan. I ping where Rengar is going to be. So he can decide what to do with that information. I'm going to go ahead and ghost for this. Into E. Don't know what Nautilus thinks he's doing here. Bop him in my teammates, finish him off. I guess I don't necessarily need to push this. I don't know if that was the right move or not. I think my R wave was pushing into her though. I don't want a diver. Teammates aren't fed enough. And I don't have any real items yet. All I have is jungle item, which does zero damage against champions. I'll go ahead and E for this. She's too far away and I'm moving too slow. We need to get this wave pushed. It's a lot of minions. I could probably reset here. She's not going to want to back because of all the minions. Get her with my EQW. Down she goes. Now she misses out on all of these minions. You have to keep your eyes open for dives like these. If enemies are low enough on health and they don't have the items or abilities to survive. I mean, man, now she misses out on two minion waves. It's pre-five minute mark, so it's taking forever to get this plate. Pre five minute up here, mid and top turret both take essentially half damage. Takes forever to get anything. It's a good time to reset. Lux is trying to stall out the wave. I'll go ahead and push it real quick to get it to full collapse. So Lissandra can't freeze it. She can try here. She's going to lose a lot of health for it. Like you see already, she's lost over 100 health from these minions by not letting it crash. First item back, we have our tier of the goddess. And we'll go straight for... We'll go Lucid's into Shoujun. Shoujun's good, but leaving base with double longsword over Lucid's is awkward. We give her the ping, she reacts off the information, and she gets a kill off of it. Now we have some street cred with her, and she's going to be like, oh, Hecarim pings, he knows what he's up to. And once again, we didn't dump the pings on top of her forehead. <laughs> We didn't drop bombs on her face. We uh, gave her the information so she could choose what she's going to do next. 
<laughs> when your teammate hits you with 10 pings on your head. No, 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 no. Good pings. It's an art. Lissandra's high HP, no boots. Notice how we're still running kind of low mana even with tier and being in the jungle. When you're in the jungle or river areas, you have massive mana regeneration as a jungler, especially the more mana you're missing, it kicks in higher. So we're at nine now. It keeps kicking back into eight because we're getting so much mana regen back. Now we have our 6 minute 30. That's super early. It's because we soaked so many minions mid lane. It's the only way to hit level 6 fast as a jungler because mid lanes generally hit it around 6 minute mark as long as they haven't died and missed XP. I'm going to ping that out. That I had a bad ping there. Which one did I do? I did a weird one. We have triple stack on a Q. Vanguard's bot. He has a lot of attack damage. He's pretty slow, though. Go ahead and E into his jungle. Yeah, these are up. Vanguard can only take his AoE camp so fast. Plus, since he's been lingering bot side heavy here, the chances of these being up is highly likely. I'll go ahead and go for this. I can go over the wall. Boop! <laughs> oh, she. F that doesn't seem like the good move. Hit her with R, push her away from the wall. Your R fears them and pushes them away from you, so we hit her with the damage there and got the fear. Nice, nice, nice. Get the XP soak. Lissandra's gonna miss another wave of minions. That's why Lux is up a whole level on her. Even though neither of them have TP. I do have Ghost. I don't know if I would need to use it here to gank it, though. I think we're gonna get his R as it is, because we're so... I guess not. Auction didn't really do any damage at the time. Oh well. Mengar is most likely going to be going for his red buff next. It's gray, means it's up in a minute or less. Oh, I missed my Q there, Rip. It's unfortunate. Used it too early. He's most likely there since he's not on Dragon. He'll be going top. My R is on cooldown. It's not a bad time for us to reset. I'll go ahead and ghost for this. Pop E. This guy's dead. Boom! I'm on phase rush, which is extra damage. I don't want to die to Malphite, though. He, I think, yep, there it is. That's my bad. I greeted there. I thought I might be able to pick up a kill on the Sandra with ghost extensions. But it wasn't going to happen. Malphite absolutely chunked me. 624 damage. It's over half my health. Such a short period of time as well. From this position, we need to keep finishing out Spear of Shojun. Go for the BF Sword, Long Sword, E out of base. Looking at bot lane, no tier 2 boots, no tier 2 boots. We're quite a bit faster. No full item. Our, my AD carry and my support are constantly fragmented though. They're neither seemingly in the same spot. Stack up our Q here a little bit. Get the stacks rolling in. Whip it with the E. That should be a double R. Go for the Samira. Feared her into the turret. Hecarim's such a broken champion, dude. The mobility, AoE damage, the CC. I didn't want to steal that minion, but it died anyways. I need to get my Q on this dragon before all my stacks fall off. Rengar might rotate to me here. I'm not sure where he's at kind of scary it's got a lot of burst i gotta keep my hp high so he can't pop me w max second always go for my red buff and path into just letting them know where i'm going next i'm gonna three camp it so ideally she should reset the wave or stop pushing one or the other oh no Nah, that dingus. Ah, uh, I might actually kill them both. Got the kill. Nice, that's huge. 
Not sure where Rengar went though. Guess I can go push up for his Gromp. He probably can't one tap me if I have my W on for the armor. I think I saw him top side. Yeah, he is over here. This is a weird spot for me to be in. I kind of just need to leave. I'm going to get pinched by their bot lane from here. I don't know why Morgana is approaching that area. Oh, Lissandra must see me. Boof. I have no clue where the Rengar went. She's snared. Got him with Smite. We can hit him with her with an RW. Lux gets the triple dipple. Rengar has high damage. His electrocute was on cooldown from bursting Morgana. Ability cooldown plus electrocute cooldown. He didn't have any kill potential on us there. He thought about it. He wasn't gonna be able to kill me though. W armor magic is plus the healing. Got Shoujun now. And the reason why Shoujun is so good is check it out. It is giving us nearly 40 ability haste. 20 on base plus dragon force is 18 right now based on our total AD. Off of one item, 40 ability haste. That's freaking nutty. <laughs> it's not even including his other stats. The AD, the HP. And also movement speed. Gain up to 15% increased movement speed based on your missing health. Spicy. It's going to be hard for them to kill us. So we won't waste our shot down gold. When we're low, we'll have up to 15%. Extra movement speed. Check out those pings, baby. Give them the spicy pings. Go ahead and eat ghost for this. Rengar is here. Oh, that was annoying. Got my W on. Oh, that Morg Snare was beefy. Oh, save me! Wait. I got out of that? I guess that's the Spear of Shoujun speed up. Got me out of the Lissandra passive. I thought I was dead there. I got out, but Morgana didn't. It's freaking hilarious. I don't think she saw it because it was in bush kind of at one point. I don't think she realized what was happening. Not a great interaction. They got quite a bit of shutdown gold. As long as we keep getting dragons, I suppose. Malphite's going to start to giga outscale the Auction for fights. Auction's going to be gosh darn near useless. The Malphite slows attack speed heavily, AoE. He's going to slow the auction attack speed plus Nyla attack speed. And then our team's only damage is going to be me, Morgana, and Lux. Because most of Hecarim's damage realistically comes from his Qs anyways, not from his autos. Although it's good to sprinkle in autos, especially if you take Conquer, which we didn't. Because Phase Rush gives you more survivability. I'd say overall more carry potential. The only time you'd want to take Conquer... I don't know. I don't I don't think it's even worth it right now. If you look at the win rates on phase rush, in theory, if their team is melee heavy enough, Conquer could be worth it. This is kind of dangerous, but I do have R to escape. I'm not seeing where anybody's at. Sometimes Rengar leaves a control word in this bush so he can hop over wall onto Crux from that brush. I'm gonna word that, make sure. Sandra's kinda low. Yeah, she's dead. Smiter in midair. We got off our phase rush. I would rather not get uh, get got by this guy. Get the shield, and we're chilling. He already used his electrocute on me. He doesn't have any more kill potential. I think electrocute Rengar is doo doo feces. It's really not very good. I think you're better off playing that champion heavy self healing. Is unoptimal as it is. Because the alternative is playing him like this, where he's a bad version of Zed. Easy Dragon, Rengar dead, Malphite dead. This Lux is giga carrying right now. She's doing pretty good. Love me some free dragons. Hecarim's not much of a split pusher. He can't solo things typically in the mid late game like Jax, Fiora, and Nasus. He's a team fighter. Early game, he full clears ganks, and then later on, he pretty much just team fights. Our Q is on such a low cooldown. Got it triple stacked. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to fight that. Bucks wants to fight it, though. 
My art is about to be up. Maybe. I'm on ghost. Hey, Nautilus. Rengar is tier 2 boots. I'm on ghost. Oh, he's quick. I don't know how he's moving that fast. I should have this once my Q stacked. Drop the R. Oof. There it is. <laughs> there it is, man. I don't know where Malphite went. Yeah, there he is. Our blue jungle items finished, so we haul every time we touch a bush, which feels really good with Celerity, because Celerity makes you go faster the faster you're already going. Plus, Hecarim gets more damage the more movement speed he has. Heavy synergy. Green jungle item is viable on Hecarim. You typically only take that if you're playing him Conquer Giga Frontline, which isn't really how we're playing him. We're playing him with Phase Rush, so might as well take blue jungle item. They don't have a good answer for Lux. I think Lux is extremely overtuned. A couple patches back, they gave her a massive buff on her R and I think her E as well. I made videos on it. If you don't have a good tool for consistently getting on top of her, it's not much counterplay since she outranges everything. She keeps Ring herself in the most awkward ways. I have the speed up. He doesn't have his blue jungle item finished yet. I don't have my Q stacked, so I would think I would still win that fight, even sitting on nearly 4k gold. But I uh, might as well get my Q stack first before we throw a limit test like that. Look at that cooldown. I can do it. It's literally like a point, uh, seven second cooldown right now. Somewhere around there. Push that out real quick. Force him to grab it. We could go for a Herald. I'm sitting on so much gold though. We might as well go back and spend it. So we don't throw. We'll push Mana Moon. At this point, you do have a lot of options. Whether it's Eclipse. Wouldn't recommend Jack Show anymore after the Nurse for Bruisers. Eclipse is viable. Dusk is viable. Death's Dance is viable. Death's Dance would probably be our best option instead of Eclipse third item since the Rengar burst can threaten a shutdown on us if my W's on cooldown. Sandra gets a shutdown. Lux is still alive. That's sick. That's GG's, man. If they don't FF there, these guys are never going to FF. They did not get either one of our biggest shutdowns on our team. They only killed Akshan, who's the least impactful. An extra 51 attack damage. Holy crap from passive there. Because I was standing in bush. Outside of bush, I'm only getting an extra 10. But in bush, I'm getting 50. So 40 more AD. Sick. W is giving a whopping 35 armor, 35 magic resist, 30% of damage dealt, and uh, nearby enemies take. What? And heals. Oh, yeah, you heal for. I forgot. You heal for also damage what your allies are taking. I'm moving decently quick. Get the shield and the RQ. That was a great luck shield. Don't feel like dying though. You can find I'm on double ghost extensions here. Where's that luck shield at though, yo? Get this in him and pull off. We got free dragon up. Gonna run out of all my Q stacks. I don't think we can end here. I think this is a forced end since Morgan is almost dead. And we're, our team's sitting on a lot of unspent gold. We have too much unspent gold and our supers aren't here yet because we just broke the inhibs. We might as well grab dragon first. There's nothing else to get there. Sure enough, Morgana dies. 
Lux dies, throw shut down. And then from their point of view, they'd say, well, why didn't you just stay and try to end? I don't have R. I don't have Ghost. I'm sitting on 1,500 gold and Dragon is up. Why would we stay when Morgana is almost dead? It just doesn't make sense. So now instead, the enemy's got somewhere around 1,300 gold. Wait, no, that's 1,600 gold. 300, 1,300. So yeah, 1,600 gold from that when traditionally killing five players would only be 1500 gold. So essentially they just got more gold than an ace. You need vision to be able to jump over walls of Hecarim and an enemy to dash to. Boom, give me that, give me that. I like it. Ghost is on cooldown, my R is up. We already have these two inhibs because they, they're missing these. Yes, you can have it. I don't really need it. All right, I guess we do Baron. I'm going to be doing half damage since I'm the one tanking it. Kind of sucks. They're already missing inhibs. There's no reason for us to be bot in mid. It's super troll. Luckily, our W is a super short cooldown. Lasts for four seconds, only a seven and a half second cooldown. It's only on cooldown really for three seconds because of the duration. It's so pointless for us not to just take that as a team. Hopefully, Malphite doesn't kill me. If he's able to, then this game's doomed. I got my extra AD from Bush. Going in the bushes for my uh, extra AD here. I go zoom zoom fast. I'll be taking that. Nice try, Malphite. Full armor. <laughs> he dies anyways. That's a lot of fun, dude. Hecarim is gush darn over tuned right now. 86 extra AD off of E movement speed plus bush movement speed. Yeah, blue jungle items is the only one worth taking on Hecarim, let's be honest. <laughs> let's look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we had more than everyone on the enemy team, but boy oh boy, I only had the third most on my team and Lux made it look like no one else was doing any damage at all. Looking at damage taken, we took the most in the game. Very cool, self-mitigated. He self-mitigated the second most. Very impressive, just goes to show out over to Hecarim. Hecarim's W with the extra armor magic resist is for us to take almost as much self mitigation as Malphite, who gets a bunch of extra armor constantly from W, plus his constant granite shield passive, giving him a big shield. For runes, ultra high value. Hecarim jungle, extremely overtuned right now. He's definitely picker band material. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.